Welcome to Bankers Rankers. In this lecture, we will discuss how to attempt percentage based simplification problems. We will take few questions which were previously asked in banking examination and try to solve them in simplest and quickest possible way. This is the second part of this series. The link of the first part is given in the description box. Question number 11. It was asked in IBPS clerk. It asks 14% of 905 plus y is equal to 287. At first, taking y to one side, we can write 287 minus 14% of 905 can be broken down into 10% plus 4%. So 10% is equal to 90.5 and 4% is equal to 4 into 1% that is 4 into 9.05. So y will be equal to 287 minus 90.5 plus 36.2 which will be equivalent to 160.3 option number B. 58% of 450 minus y% of 250 is equal to 181. Taking y to one side, y% of 250 is equal to 50 plus 8% of 450 minus 181. 50% 50 of 450 is equal to 450 by 2 equal to 225. 8% of 450 is equal to 8 into 4.5 is equal to 36. Therefore, summation is coming to be 261 minus 181 is equal to 80. So, y% of 250 is equal to 80. As we know that 10% of 250 is equal to 25. So, 10 into 3 that is 30% will be equal to 25 into 3 7. 25 and 1% of 250 is equal to 2.5 therefore 2% will be equal to 5 so 75 plus 5 is equal to 80 which is required result therefore option number C 30 plus 2 is equal to 32 percent 17.7 percent of 286 now 17.7 percent can be written as 20 minus 2 minus 0 0.3 20 percent is equal to 2 into 10 percent that is 2 into 28.6 2 percent is equal to 2 into 1% that is 2 into 2.86 plus 0.3% equal to 3 into 0.1% that is 3 into 0 0.286 solving which you can get the result as approximately equal to 50 so we will go to the option number D 3 by 4 of 24% of 400 minus 32 is equal to y we can write 24 percent is equal to 24 by 100 so 46 is 24 0 0 cancel 6 3 is 18 4 is 72 72 minus 32 therefore we can say that y is equal to 40 49 into 27 by 18 percent of 50 18 percent of 50 can be written as 18 of 50 percent or simply 18 by 100 into 50 so we can say 49 into 27 by 9 is equal to 49 into 3 is equal to 147 option number a 38% of 295 plus 62% of 445. 445 can be broken down into 295 plus 150. So it can be reduced as 38% of 295 plus 62% of 295 plus 62% of 150 taking 295 common. So 38 plus 62% of 295 plus 62% of 150 that is 100% of 295 plus 60% plus 2% of 150. 100% of 295 is equal to 290. 60% of 150 is equal to 6 into 15 is equal to 90. And 2% of 150 is equal to 2 into 1.5 is equal to 3. The summation is coming to be 388 option number B. 37% of 248 can be written as 37% of 62 into 4 minus 27% of 310 can be written as 27% of 62 into 5. 62 can be taken out as common so 62 multiplied by 37% of 4 minus 27% of 5 which will be equal to 62 multiplied by 37% of 4 minus 27% of 4 minus 27% of 1 we can break down 5 as 4 plus 1 so it will be equal to 62 multiplied by 37% of 4 minus 27% of 4 minus 27% of 1 again taking 4 common 62 multiplied by 10% of 4 minus 1% of 27 27% of 1 is equal to 1% 1 of 27. So it will be equal to 62 multiplied by 10% of 4 is equal to 0 0.4 minus 1% 1 of 27 is equal to 0 0.27 that is 62 multiplied by 0.13 is equal to 8.06 option number D. We can also solve this problem in another way. 37% can be written as 40 minus 3% and 27% can be written as 30 minus 3%. After that we will write on the terms which we have to add on one side and the terms which we have to subtract on another side. So we can write 40% of 248 is equal to 4 into 24.8 plus 3% of 310 that is 3 into 3.1 on one side minus 3% of 248 that is 3 into 2.48 plus 30% 30 of 310 that is 3 into 31 on another side solving this we will get our result approximately as equal to 8. 
18.5 percent of 320 plus 7.4 percent of 450 18.5 percent can be written as 20 minus 1 minus half percent is similarly 7.4 can be written as 10 minus 2 minus 0.6 percent writing those terms which we have to add on one side 20 percent of 320 is equal to 2 into 32 is equal to 64 and 10 percent of 450 is equal to 45 so 64 plus 45 is equal to 109 and writing those terms which we have to subtract 1 percent of 32 is equal to 3.2 half percent of 32 is equal to 3.2 by 2 is equal to 1.6 2 percent of 450 is equal to 4.5 into 2 is equal to 9 and 0.6 percent of 450 is equal to 6 into 0.45 is equal to 2.7 the summation of them is equal to 16.5 final result will be 109 minus 16.5 is equal to 92.5 so option number e none of these 18% of 350 plus 12% of 600. 12% of 600 can be written as 12% of 350 plus 250. Now we can take 350 as common. So we will get 30% of 350 plus 12% of 250. 30% of 350 is equal to 3 into 35. 12% of 250 is equal to 10% plus 2% of 250. That is 25. 10% plus 2% that is 2 into 2.5. So final result is 135. Option number C. It is given y percentage of 4 minus 32 into 5 is equal to 540 so y percentage of 4 is equal to 160 plus 540 is equal to 700 now y percentage of 4 is equal to 700 since 700 is greater than 4 thus y should be greater than 100 but in none of the option any value greater than 100 is given so we can direct choose option number e none of these no need to solve this question please like comment subscribe and share our videos if you want to download this question paper then join our whatsapp group the link of the whatsapp group is given in the description box.